going to take apart the uh, Zoom M4 mic track and just take a look at the capsules that's on the top here. Um, these microphones, uh, just the built-in microphones, look a little different than some of the other recorders like the Tascams um, that you can see better or some of the bigger zooms like the H5 that you can see the capsules. This one has this little cell around it that protects it and blocks wind uh, slightly with it, but sort of hard to see the capsules in there. So I'm going to take this, open it up, and just be able to get a little better look at them here. So on each side of it, there's just two screws, and there's, a, I believe, a little press clamp under there that you have to be mindful of to where you don't uh, snap any of the plastic on it. In the front and the back, there's a little bit of a catch. So let's see if I can pop this off without snapping it. There it goes. So you can get a little better look here at these capsules. They don't have the same long housing like you usually see on them. It's short and has a sort of a rounded backing on it. Um, these are directional, but they're not like a full Omni that uh, gives you more of a full surround sound. They have a little bit of a shock mount to them. It's just sort of a rubberized plastic on here. Sort of hard to get a good look at, but you can see those in there. I'm not gonna pop them out right now. I may do that later after I've used this recorder a little bit more to get a better look at it. But you can see this has a little bit of a movement to it. They're pressed against each other, and you can almost feel a bit of a grinding between the two on them. May do something about that, um, but they really don't have too much movement to it. Not like a true soft shock mount, but it's basically just forearms sticking straight up out of it. Capsules embedded in here, and just little short wires to it they're screwed on on the top here my pattern so i may do something to uh give them a little more freedom on here to sort of make a little bit so softer shock mount to it to maybe cut down on some of that vibration uh, a lot of people have complained about these um, that the handling noise on them are a little too much they've fix the uh, RF interference that you used to get when you'd have around your phone or some other devices. Uh, that was fixed after the first batch went out and you don't have those troubles anymore. So that was the biggest complaint. The second biggest complaint about these were the handling noise. And you do get, like if your hand's popping on and off of it, you do hear a little bit of a, a, a crackling noise with it. With these, um, if you want to hold them and not get that noise, just keep it a firm grip on it in your hand and not move it around any and you don't hear that it basically cuts out any of that handling noise so after using one of these just a few times you'll get the hang of it and you won't have that issue anymore with the handling noise with it and uh just wanted people to be able to see what's under there um, i'm pretty sure it's uh 10 millimeter mic it actually may be a 12 millimeter capsule in there. I'll measure that in the next video and see if we can take a better look at it. And you can sort of see through the cage in the back, um, which leads me to believe it has a little bit more of a surround sound to the capsule. I don't know what these are. I've um, looked online and I haven't seen anybody that's come up with exactly which capsules in these. So if I get the time, I'll try to make another video, take these apart and uh, get a better look. If this helped you out at all, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.